I want to show you how to update both your NASA Assistant software as well as your NASA firmware. So my NASA is currently connected to my PC and if I fire up the Assistant, I currently have um, version 1.6 and as you see immediately it'll, it'll do a uh, check for updates. Current software 1.6, current firmware 2.01. It currently tells me that the latest NASA Assistant software is version 1.8 and firmware 2.02. It's always best to download the latest uh, desktop software for the NASA Assistant before you do a firmware upgrade. So let's go ahead and head over to the site, look at NASA, and then let's look at the downloads and you'll see that right here we can grab version 1.8. So we'll go ahead and do that and install it. So now that I've downloaded the 1.8 version, let me go ahead and close out of 1.6 just to be safe. And we'll run the installer. Let's go ahead and launch it. Okay, so it tells me now that I have version 1.8 and I have version, still have version 2.01 of the firmware. So let's go ahead and do a firmware upgrade to version 2.02. .02. Before we update the firmware, let me just point out that on the DJI site, there's actually release notes for this version. So you can click on the PDF, kind of scroll through, and you can see there's quite a few updates with this version of the firmware which is pretty cool so if you purchase a NASA you'll be you'll appreciate the fact that you get these firmware upgrades with um, what appears to be quite a few uh, new features and function so let's go ahead and head back and you'll notice the new uh, version 1.8 software and see version does not match up here so we'll go ahead and upgrade from 2.01 to 2.02 and keep in mind my NASA is currently connected so do the upgrade and it's telling me that you know once we do the upgrade we need to go ahead and uh, reconfigure our settings And you can actually hear during the process that my motors are beeping. So I'll go ahead and do as they say. I'll power cycle the NASA controller. Okay, so the NASA is reset. So to double check, to, just to make sure that everything was upgraded properly we'll do go ahead and do a check for updates see we have 1.8 2.02 so we're good to go and if you notice below there's a configuration error and that just means that uh, we need to reconfigure some of our parameters and if you I have a video if you look through my channel you'll see a video that shows setting up the NASA uh, configuration so go ahead and check that out if you're not familiar but that being said I'm gonna go ahead and uh, in this video but and set up my calibration parameters so that's it for now I hope you enjoyed and good luck with your firmware upgrade